Hello Star Citizens and welcome back to the channel. So I'm finally back to producing new videos after I've had some big celebration in real life and also I took my Warhammer 40k Space Marines to some tournaments. In the meantime a couple of questions have come up and many questions were around the old bounty hunting ship ranking video. So let's check what the status of the ranking is. First of all my new sweet spot is VHR key missions. These pay out a decent amount of Alpha UEC and they are significantly more easy than ERT missions. That's why in the last couple of days I concentrated to grinding some VHRT missions to come up with a new tier list. My former absolute favorite ship, the Hercules C2, unfortunately is no longer the best bounty hunting ship. Which is fine, it is still the best trading ship. And also spoiler alert, my new favorite ships were not even on the old list. So this is the new ranking which is still evolving, but this is my initial thoughts. Previously I always said that I'm not the best pilot in the world. And so I had much trouble with smaller ships and fighter class ships in general, and mostly relied on the gunship class ships. In the new world I am absolutely into fighters, so let's check. Here I am in my constellation Taurus, one of my former favorite ships for ERT missions. With its four size 5 guns it has some brutal firepower. However, we are limited by the capacitor. That's why I sometimes switch to Ballistic Cannon's Deadbolt 5, which we see later in the video on the 600i. For VHRT missions, both Ballistic Cannons and Laser Cannons are equally good. But back to the Taurus. The maneuverability is decent, it has one size 3 shield, which is okay. So overall a good ship and viable for VHRT missions. Next I am in my Origin 600i. I cannot wait for the ship to be redesigned. But let's focus now on the combat capabilities. Comparing it to the Constellation Taurus, the flight characteristics are somewhat similar. But it has two size 3 shields, giving it double the shield size. And despite only having three size 5 guns, it has even more sustained DPS when equipped with full laser cannons. This is due to the better capacitor. In this test I'm using ballistic cannons for a change, which is a good option. In the end I would recommend going with laser cannons, just because you can chain mission after mission with this. Let's come to my former favorite bounty hunting ship, the Hercules C2. As mentioned before, it is no longer the best, but if you want, you can still absolutely make bounty missions with it. Surprisingly, the sustained DPS is not so far off compared to the Constellation Andromeda, which is because of the fantastic capacitor size. Also, you have two size 3 shields, providing a decent protection. On the other hand, maneuverability is mediocre at best. Also, the C2 is a big target for the other ships. Overall, sadly, I must conclude that there are better options for bounty hunting now. Shields. 
talking about better options. Welcome to the Crusader Ares Inferno. Was fantastic before, still is fantastic. Simple reason is the great maneuverability compared with more than enough firepower. You can easily circle your prey and hammer it with a big Gatling gun. Also, the visual effect of the impact is really hot. Let's come to my new, favorite VHRT bounty hunting ship, the F7A Hornet Mark II. I have her equipped with a full loadout of Dominance 3 scatter laser guns. I'm not an expert for all the control settings in the game, there are other fantastic tutorials out there on YouTube. However, I recommend setting the VJOY settings down. And in the ship, you should set all your guns to one mouse button, using one of the monitors and the gun menu. Hornet is equipped with a full loadout of Dominance 3 scatter laser guns. You can do the same with other medium-sized fighters. The F8, the Buccaneer, the Scorpius. You just need a nimble fighter with a good number of weapon hardpoints. The Hornet is my favorite of these. When approaching the bounty I like to boost ahead, to break through the formation and avoid a frontal assault. Then you're close to your target and begin circling it. Try to be within 500 meters or even closer. Now watch the bottom right monitor and see how fast the shield goes down on the target. I will not edit the video here just to see how efficient this is. Let's see one more. Another one of my former favorites was the Vanguard Sentinel. And while it's still fast and nimble, I was a bit disappointed by the DPS it brings. Going laser cannons, the sustained DPS is just half of that of the Hornet. And also going ballistics, it's lower than the RS Inferno for example, and just half of what he can bring with the 600i or Constellation series. As mentioned, this list is still evolving while I test out more ships. So please let me hear your thoughts, and if you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks a lot and see you in the verse.